Clarence Marsh has watched green crab flourish here in Placentia Bay in the past 10 years. Oh, my son, they're numerous, they're numerous. Marsh fishes several species. He blames green crab for his low lobster catches. I really do think the green crab is eating the lobster spawn. Halfway back to town. Cynthia McKenzie is part of a team of scientists that recently discovered that the ravenous green crab in Newfoundland are a hybrid, the result of interbreeding between green crab from the U.S. and from Europe. Now we have a group that are very aggressive and can tolerate the cold. They tolerate cold so well that they can be frozen for 24 hours and still come back to life. They can survive on land for weeks and live in salt or fresh water. And they'll eat anything, even other green crab. Like fishermen, Mackenzie also believes green crab are likely eating spawn, young lobster, and even pilfering bait from traps. Small numbers of green crab have also been found in neighboring Fortune Bay, where lobster stocks are healthy and the fishery is very profitable. If such voracious eaters get a foothold there, it could be devastating for that fishery too. Government has been issuing licenses to fishermen in recent years to catch green crab. Marsh would like to see more licenses to get the population under control. Unfortunately, there isn't a market for green crab. They don't have much meat. So they end up being used as compost or are simply dumped. We're never going to eradicate them. The challenge right now for fishermen and scientists is to figure out just how far along the coastline this species has spread and to try to stop it. But for the time being, it appears to be a battle that the green crab are winning. Chris O'Neill Yates, CBC News, North Harbour, Newfoundland.